Hello! Hey guys! We are back with Artanelico 2. We have a special guest tonight. Woohoo. My sister is visiting us from Buffalo. That's right. Introduce yourself what, using whatever name you want. I'm gonna go by Min with two N's. M-I-N-N. -N. Works. Yep. <laughs> so, what have we been doing? Uh... Item crafting. Item I'm crafting, because we're trying and and talk topics because we we're trying to get. Yeah, we're trying to get all caught up. Through Mir before the end of the game because we want to romance Mir or Jackley. Who is this? That's Travis. Hi, Travis. He's one of our regulars. His, Hi, regular. His brother pops in from now uh, from oops. now and again, but he is busy working. Is this a DS game originally? This PS2. was PS2. Oh, okay, okay. Oh god. I joined the fan club to see the world Lady Cloche will make. Go ahead. I joined the fan club attracted to Lady Cloche's patience. So <laughs> much Ray the Tail That's a gameplay mechanic. Oh, Master, perfect time. I found this recipe deep in the shop's storage. Do you want to use it? What recipe is it? This isn't cooking. <laughs> True, it doesn't look like food to me either. But it came from deep in the storage room. Doesn't it feel exciting already? I bet you'll make something amazing. We're gonna end up with something amazing? Well, I don't know. But these kinds of things always have a consistency in their story, you know? Found by coincidence, lost in a deep place, a cursed but super rare item. It's cursed. <laughs> um, I'm not sure about that, so try making it and let's find out. I hate you. <laughs> Organic synapse. Nice. Am I like some sort of guinea pig? <laughs> I'll support you, don't worry. You shouldn't have a problem, right? Do we have what we need to make this? <laughs> Min doesn't know how little sense these recipes make, or how bad these girls are at making them. <laughs> I'm about to find out, aren't I? This was a recipe for a roll cake. What was supposed to be a roll cake? Turned out as a rice cracker. Twirl-shaped rice cracker. <laughs> and that's just the beginning. Uh, yeah, you should show you should show her what the roll cake ended up becoming for Jack Lee. <laughs> well, he rolled it. Yes, we do. <laughs> we do have enough ingredients to make the organic synapse. Question just, mark food? <laughs> we just have to be careful because we only have one of these. Use the cheat code. It's on. <laughs> this recipe looks hard. Maybe it really was cursed or something. It will be dangerous, right? I'm not sure. I don't understand this recipe either. What were you going to do if something happened? <laughs> um. Well, it's done. But isn't this like... A circuit switch or something? Yeah, it's a relay circuit switch. Why do we need to make it out of food? <laughs> then let me ask you this. Why can't we make it out of food? Well, Asking the real questions. You can't answer, can you? People don't even try to use food other than for eating. But there are many other uses for food other than simply for eating. I thought you're the one always telling us not to waste food. <laughs> She's also the one that tried to make armor out of food. These are my kind of people. <laughs> we synthesize to show the world that there are other uses for food. I see. I wasn't thinking hard enough. <laughs> Go on, give it a name. Uh, okay, then I'll call it Sweet Circuit. Master, let's continue to do our best in synthesis. I don't know where I should even begin. <laughs> a weapon out of food. <laughs> Sweet circuit. A food shaped like a relay circuit switch. Instead of the copper plate, seaweed is used instead. Okay. I wonder why. <laughs> why? Oh, God. Go ahead. 
closer to the mic for her. Hey, this isn't this what I think it is. Oh, you noticed? More like, what else is it supposed to be? You were pretty loud when you came through earlier, so... Oh, okay. Well, sure. Should I really make it? You're the one who said you wanted to make it! Well, I don't see a problem with having one around. What are you planning to make? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I never expected to make this out of cake. It proves it's possible to make one out of cake. Let's see, that's one way to look at this. Um, is that what I think it is? A self-destruct button. What did you mean by there's no problem in having one around? Well, I know I won't die from self-destructing. Emphasis on I. <laughs> I know I won't die from self-destructing. And you have to, and you have to call this button a push me. I see. That's a cute and fitting name. I pray we won't ever have to use it. Push me. A self-destruct button made out of cake. I never expected anyone to make this out of cake. I make anything out of cake. Apparently. <laughs> Did that say dreamy lady pickle? Yes. Yes! <laughs> Pickled old heart. <laughs> Wrinkly and tasty. Nice. <laughs> oh dear. We're busy again. Uh-oh. What? Again? The rival shop is gone. Can't help it here. True. Oh, hello! I'm sorry, but can you wait for just a minute? So she says. Fade to black. Whew. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. It's fine. Didn't take that long anyway. Just one fade to black. But <laughs> really, you have so many more customers now. Isn't it tough on them? Well, kinda. But this is my job, so I'm fine. But shouldn't you get at least one more person to help you out? Um, you see, there's actually some merits to being the only one, too. I can't say this too loud, but since this shop isn't big, I have an easier time moving freely alone. And the pay's actually not too shabby here. Oh, yeah, that's true. Right? So, it's not too bad being the only one. And I don't plan on ever quit- uh, It's not like I work here only for the money, though. I work hard because I like this job. I see. But I'm glad to hear that you don't plan to quit. Really? Because everyone would be sad if you quit. You're a popular waitress. Sure. Maybe I'd feel happy if you were sad? You'd be happy for me to be sad? That's weird. <laughs> I mean... Come on, Luca. Croy picked the girl that could destroy the world. You don't have many more options left. I joined the fan club in adoration of Lady Closure's inspiration! <laughs> Oh god, what accent am I doing tonight? Hmm. French? I can't do French! Scottish. Okay, that I can do. <laughs> offense is the greatest defense. <laughs> defense is the true greatest <laughs> offense. You can't win if you only continue to defend, though. What's up with you today? You know how I gave you the humane pet project recipe the other day? <laughs> right after I handed it to you, a big bang of inspirational explosion happened in my head. You need not just a weapon, but something to protect yourself. I mean... In other words, armor! Humans, human attacks won't even cause a scratch! And so I went straight to work and here it is. Wonder armor. For dogs with butt wings. Is it made out of food? Nope, that's just Scott. Okay. <laughs> Use it with the weapon I gave you last time and you'll have the strongest pet ever. I am not a pet. <laughs> but you do have butt wings. <laughs> am I a genius or what? That wasn't even a question, huh? <laughs> huh? 
Why are you so quiet to me? No, I have a mountain of things I want to say. Yeah. <laughs> but even if I said it, I'm only going to get in trouble. Right? Yeah, that is correct. You're a learning kid. <laughs> well, I have the highest expectations from you, so you gotta do your best. Her accent changes like every episode. She said she's inconsistent. <laughs> Wonder Armor. Chernabog. Sure. Unsynthesized. So... That's a recipe that I need to get from elsewhere. I guess. Okay. We'll come back to that one, sure. Alright, I'll come again. Oh, wait, wait! Yeah. <laughs> I'll go with you guys right now. You're going somewhere too? Oh, I mean, I'll take along with you on your travels from now on. Uh. Huh? Well, well, wait, wait a minute. I don't see what's going on. If I'm there with you, you don't have to come all the way here, right? I'm sure you're busy, so uh, it'll save some time, too. Cynthia, are you seriously saying that? Of course I'm serious! I know this is up for play. Don't worry. No! Of course I can't take you with me. Ah! What? What? Why? This isn't for fun. Of course I can't take you. I know this isn't for play. Don't worry. No! I cannot take you! Why? But you said you needed my help! If I'm with you, you can synthesize any time! I can give your weapons maintenance, so we'll be useful when you need it! So then, what are you going to do during battle? If something happens, you won't be able to react. But I can at least help out with a little support, so take me. A little? <laughs> Cynthia, please, give up on this. Why can't I? You need my skills, right? You're the one that said it, that you need me. And it's better that we're together. That lady like. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry, no, I've decided I do the same thing to my dog. <laughs> Cynthia, Croy's troubled. Ooh, Croy is saying this because he cares about you. When it comes to battle, is there anything you can do? If you end up dragging him down, then he'll be even more troubled. You don't want Croy to get hurt because of it, do you? Well, of course not. Hmm. Oh, I can't come along with you. Oh, oh. no, 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 sorry. What did I, I thought it took a pillow from you. Oh, I put it no. behind me, but it disappeared. Be all right. Sorry. I was gonna say, you need one? <laughs> I'll do anything. If you need something, I'll make it, even if it's not a weapon. Sorry. I appreciate your thoughts, though. <laughs> But don't worry, I'm not that weak to be defeated that easily. And I have Luca and the other's magic, too. They have amazing magic now, and it really helps me out. Yeah, because that's going to make her feel better. So there's no need to worry. I see. Yeah, I get that. Unlike your appearance, you're pretty strong. And if you have Luca's magic, then I guess there's no reason to worry. Glad you understand. Oh, but it's too bad. I, want... <laughs> I wanted to go around different places and have fun too. So it was for fun. What? No, that was just a slip of my tongue. Forget me, please. You sure are a mound of trouble. Well, I'm gonna go now. Okay, bye bye. <sighs> I guess I can't beat magic, huh? Did you say something? Nothing! You absolutely have to come again, okay? <laughs> I don't know why you're jealous of Luca. He's not with her either. <laughs> she flat out broke up with him. Oh god. Right, thanks again. Yeah, well, see ya. Speaker. What? 
What's the attitude? I mean, I get it. You're in a bad mood, right? That's again, nothing's wrong with me! It shows a lot in your attitude. This is so unlike you. Nothing's wrong. That's just a blatant lie. Th those are harsh words. I said there's nothing. I'm tired of hearing it. Just be honest and say it. Really, it's nothing. You're thinking too far. Thinking too far? <laughs> She's gonna kick that over. <laughs> you can't win here. Nice. Is that so? I can see you've been acting strange lately. I said it's- Oh jeez, why do you keep pestering me? <laughs> what are you so angry about? <sighs> do you see now? You're not even able to keep your usual poker face in anymore. Yeah, this has been going on for a while. <clears throat> this isn't like you. But that just means you're sick or something really bad happened, am I right? You're really annoying me right now. Uh, I have hiccups. Well, fine, then I'll be honest and tell you. Jack Lee, say goodbye to Croy right now and come back to me. <laughs> What? Well, hey, hey, what kind of joke is that? Yeah, that's going a little too far, don't you think? Oh, you can refuse me? You do know what I have against you, right? Well... I don't know what that is, but... Does she have some dirt on you or something? Everyone has their own weaknesses. It's probably nothing in your eyes, not even mine. But some people care. Right, Jackie? Why do I have to stay with you? Do you need a reason? You can't go against me, you know that, right? <sighs> Alright, fine. Then you also know what I'm going to answer, I assume. I refuse. There are things I still need to do. Alright. I'm slightly surprised. Was I hearing things wrong? I'll say it as many times as you want. I refuse. You're a completely different person right now. You won't tell me why I need to be with you. You won't tell me what happened. How am I supposed to stay with someone like that? Did you two have a thing? I know, or... right? <laughs> you can at least tell me your reason. Or is it something you can't tell me? It's not necessary. Now, now choose. Come to me. Hmm. Who will you pick, me or Croy? Of course, if you pick the latter, you know, right? Ugh. I don't plan to change my answer. I can't come back to you yet. <laughs> Is that so? I see you refuse to partner up with me. There's something I have to do right now. You understand that too, don't you? This is going in circles. But once I finish that, I won't have anything to do. Oh, we'll just see about that. <laughs> so when I'm done, I'll join up with you. I won't make you lonely by being, al being all alone. What? <laughs> that sentence! Lonely? Me? Lonely, you say? Don't mock me! Don't treat me the same as you! I'm not like you! I'm not a weakling that dreamed of a virtual happy life to escape loneliness. <laughs> ah. Huh? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Speaker! You- Fine, who cares? I don't care about you at all. Uh, um... Hey, Jack Lee! What's wrong? What's going on? Speaker, what in the world were you talking about? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> the visual novel. <laughs> hey! Finally caught up to you. What happened? Why did you say- Shut up! What, what do you mean, shut Be up? Be quiet for a bit! Just shut up! Please.
Well, that didn't go very well. <clears throat> well then. Where are we on top topic? Oh, we've unlocked level 7. Right. We can go do her thing. Now, last time when we dove into Jack Lee, we, we saw our first glimpse of her real world, her real mental world beyond the visual novel. She was fighting with herself, conflict torn between her hatred of all humans and desire to kill them, and that certain something that keeps drawing her to Croy. So, we had to choose between her two halves of herself, who to give our power of Harmonious to. The uh, girl who wants to coexist with humans and wanted to kill her other half, or her other half who wants to uh, create her utopia for Rava Tales, but offered to show us why she hates everyone so much. And I believe we chose the latter. What the, what? Where is the ground? What? Where am I? I entered the cosmosphere and just dropped and... I being tied to something. A chair? Oh god. I'm wearing something on my head too. What the hell is this? Oh. Um Hello, song magic. Oh, is it my turn to be the song magic? Perhaps. Good morning. How are you feeling? <laughs> Who's there? Me? I am a memory of Mir's past. Oh, that's the first time the game's called her Mir. Gluttony. Glutamy. Glutamy. I can't read. <laughs> Welcome to the world of sin. I will show you humans the crimes that you have committed against us. You will get to experience firsthand what we went through. It's a pretty good deal, don't you think? She's showing us. Before that, what is this? I, I can't even move at all! Didn't you hear me? You're going to feel our struggle and learn our past. You are now going through what I had to, t what I had to in the past. <laughs> How is it? Look at yourself. Doesn't it make you cringe just thinking about it? You went through the same thing? What are you going to do now? Are you scared? Isn't it scary? They did this to me every day. Yeah. Sorry, one more time, please. Are you scared? Isn't it scary? They did this to me every day. But it was nothing compared to what I suffered in my previous life. I'll show you that, too. Humans will sacrifice anything to survive. They will shoot a beast that they created, created themselves. How selfish and arrogant. They shouldn't have created it if they knew it was dangerous. They should at least take responsibility for it. That is the least amount of respect you can show to a life. Humans will treat the Ravitail the same way. I was created as a Ravitail with no emotions. Do you know why? It's easier for humans to manipulate us that way. It would have been better if I didn't have any emotions at all. What? Someone is here. Well, have a great time. Wait! Well, uh, program for today is, uh... Hmm. Evil, just do whatever. Oh, thanks. With some condensed glasno liquid? Graph node. Graph node liquid and mental liberators be okay? Yeah, that's fine. Ah! Ah! It hurts! Ah! My body feels like it's burning! 
Chief, FFT is showing some reactions. Huh? Let me see. Damn, motion nerves again? The defect! Should settle it, uh, paraminoacetate with D wave energy of 3200 mag. Is that going to be fine? That could lead to death, you know. No, it frickin' won't! <laughs> Who cares? Big Boss says it's okay. I wasn't even told about it having emotions in the first place. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised too. A raven tail with no emotions or feelings is said to possess a power 20 times as much as a normal one. At least that's what I was told. Yeah, that's what the government said. But they failed, so now we're being forced to handle it. So, how much longer do we have to keep doing this? Who knows? We have to do what the government tells us to do. Do whatever it takes to kill their emotions. Pfft, it's impossible, even with the funding they gave us. Uh, I'm starting to feel dizzy. My body feels so hot. I'm going crazy. Jack Lee went through this? Oh man, hope I don't need to babysit this defective product much longer. By the way, what should we do with the next spiritual program? Uh, fourth level isn't in use, right? Let's just use that level. So, what's it about? It's about a traumatic experience of being tortured by a bunch of raven tails, I think. Leave it, Kayla. <laughs> Sounds good. That would help with the process of deleting its identity. I wonder what kind of magic would be acquired. Yeah, I don't know. I can't do this. My head is melting. What is this all about anyway? What do you think? It means that we were not created as one life. We are looked at as a product. I had no human rights or permission to live. <clears throat> Well, there is no time to rest. Go to the next section already. Ah! <laughs> Welcome to Rivetalia. The town is completely gone. What the hell's going on? I told you that I was making a utopia for Rivetalia by killing all mankind. Sorry, again please. I told you that I was making a utopia for Raven Tales by killing all mankind. You call this a utopia? This hellish world? You're just a human who judges only by what you see. This is a world of freedom. Raven Tales are not threatened. No one can degrade us. My utopia, where no weak and ugly humans exist. Don't you think it's perfect? Jack Lee do this? Yes, that's right. Isn't it amazing? It's a punishment for those who degraded us Raven Tales. It's so ironic that it was the humans who gave us the power to do this. I used the Silver Horn. And yes, Silver Horn, a magic system with a great power, was created by humans as well. human gave me the key to do this. He was none other than you. Was that the power of Harmonious? I realized something when you used the power of Harmonious on me. Humans and Raven Tales will never understand each other. Even a good intention is just temporary. No! That is not why I handed it to you! I only showed you this world because I made a promise. I don't need you anymore. You may choose to go back to reality now, or end your life here. I don't have much time to wait, so if you don't want to die, I suggest that you go back immediately. That is the only sympathy sympathy I will give you for Harmonious. United Magic. Oh! Jackley learned a synthesis spell. Or a, co a combo spell. Whatever. <laughs> Moody Girl Level E, Glutamy. A thing. She learned a thing. Yes. She a special, can use, important thing. She can use Synchronity now. Yay! But we are not done here yet. Well, of course not. We haven't had a paradigm shift yet. Speaking of which, where's the Stonehenge? It disappeared. 
The town is completely gone. This is horrible, even for a spiritual world. Was it because of the power of Harmonious? What the hell is it, anyway? Oh, pew. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Go ahead. Um, mm, what is she sitting on? A syringe. Okay. The power of Harmonious is a pure power. The more purity there is, the more powerful it becomes. Uh, you are? I'm Pew, Jackley's love supplement. You want one too? N no, I'm fine. Uh, anyway, why do I possess that power of Harmonious in the first place? Harmonious is a song of hope. It's a beam of light for her. Meaning, you possess the power of Harmonious because she sees you as her hope. Her... hope? To sum it up, she holds very strong feelings for you. All I can say is that this is my first time I have met someone who possesses that power. That could be why, too. The power of Harmonious can be a cure, hope, and a weapon for her. The power of Harmonious doesn't follow any rules. It just keeps producing its pure power. Everything depended on your decision. I... I, I see. I... I tried to see Jackie's past just out of curiosity. This is the result. I... I used... My power, her innocent hope, just for my curiosity. Well, that's pretty much it. I, I just saw what Jackley went through in the past, and I felt her hatred at the same time. If only I could use that power again. I want to use it to save her. You can't get the water you already spilled. You're right. I might have made a terrible mistake that I can never correct. There was another Jackley who wished to coexist. I took that for granted and my curiosity took over. The water will not return to the glass once you spill it, and that water might stain the floor. But you can pour more water into the glass. What? Didn't I ask you already? I'm a supplement for love. Do you want one too? Uh, uh uh, are you going to use the power of Harmonious and- The power doesn't run out after you use it. The love power just reverts to normal afterwards. Meaning, you will need a stronger will to use that power again. I can give some of that power to you, but only as much as you feel for Jackley. Do you still want to try it? Of course I do! Let me just warn you. I'm sorry. But it's gonna hurt, okay? Um, okay. I'll be fine. Alright then, I accept your commitment. Get ready. Holy crap! Ah! You did it! Good job! Ah. <laughs> Didn't expect that. <laughs> Didn't think it was gonna hurt that much. Look how long that needle is. <laughs> well, that's love. Look! <gasps> the crystal of Harmonious! There, go find Jackley. She's inside the Silver Horn right now. This will be your last chance. I don't know how you're going to do, but don't do anything to regret it. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Pretty medicine, level three. Pew, pew. Love is a giant needle that hurts very much. What is this silver horn anyway? It's not silver, that's for sure. <laughs> Did Jackley's mind make it up? Does she know what color silver is? Mm. It's something that really exists. It's still being used in a land far away for something else. Miros. I told you to leave this world, or I will not promise your safety. I want to save you, and that's why I'm still here. Save me? How? Plus, what are you going to do to s what are you sa- Plus, what are you going to save me from? I want to save you from this world of hatred. It may sound arrogant, but I want you to be happy. Don't be stupid. I told you that I'm happy in this world. This is Ravitalia. Are you really satisfied? Even if you are, I don't believe it. SHUT UP! Stop pestering me! You and I have different values on life. 
Stop interfering with me. No, that's not the reason. You're still looking at me as your hope deep inside. I should praise you for being this confident. Of course, you're saying that with a reason, right? Of course. I was able to acquire the power of Harmonious again. P what? This world is made up by you. And this world gave me one more chance. I believe in that. So you have that again? And what are you going to do? I'm hoping to free you from everything that is binding you! No! Stop! Don't go any further! Jackly, I will go through anything for you. I realized that after that vision you showed me. Compared to what you've been going through, what I'm going through now means nothing. No! <laughs> what?! This is me, inside. I was used as a tool for experiments and locked up here in the Silver Horn by humans. Silver Horn is not a place for humans. It's filled with strong energy that causes bodily harm. It was locked in there for a long time and was forced to s I was locked in there for a long time and was forced to sing magic to attack my own kind. <laughs> what am I anyway? Was it really necessary for me to exist? My existence was just a tool for humans. I was forced to lose my emotions. Ugh. Jack, Jackly, that might have been true, but, but, but it's not with me. I'm looking at you as a living individual. Shut it! I don't care what you think. I hate them. Ugh. Not just them. Not just then. Even now, nothing has changed. Humans are still trying to bind me with their power. I was always... I was always betrayed by everyone! No one ever listened to my will or feelings! <gasps> Your feelings? Your will? What happened in the past? My will. My song. My feelings. Was any of it accepted? I was always being used and rejected at the same time. No one accepted me! <sighs> Looks like there's nothing I can do. But I can see one thing. What? You are a very pure and gentle-hearted person. You believed in the humans. Never! If you never did, you wouldn't hold so much hate towards them right now, right? You believed in your human parents who gave birth to you. And you wanted to meet their expectations. Only you soon realized it was just a waste. I know that would hurt. That would hurt a lot. That's not what this is about. If it's alright with you, will you show me that world too? The things you worked for that got rejected. You'll just think it's funny and laugh at it. I will not. You'll probably end up rejecting it too. I can't find a reason to. Are you sure? Pleading. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm sure. I... I made the Song of Hope. My first song. Harmonious. So, so the power of Harmonious is... Yes. That was the first song of hope I acquired. Thought everyone would be happy. But that was not the case. Harmonious was rejected because it was useless. Why is that? Because it has no use in war. It was des wasn't designed to be a weapon. <sighs> what? I wanted to be praised. It was my first song. I wanted them to be proud of me. That's all I wanted. That's all. That... I can't even imagine how much that must have hurt. I was sad. I felt like my everything was being slashed and rejected. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Everything turned into a big despair. 
I was reject I was raised only to sing, and that was rejected too. So what was I supposed to live for? Jackly. I have no way to change your past. But I can help you with everything from now on. Am I really your harmonious? I want to keep healing you. Even if you hate humans forever, I'll be with you. Why? I might hurt you. I might stab you because of my hate for humans. We can deal with it then. But I'll never judge you by that. I'll accept it as who you are. Everything combined. I want to protect you because I want to be with you. Thank you. I wasn't, no one has ever said that kind of stuff to me. I still don't know if you really mean what you say. I still don't trust you. But I, I want to know if you're really worth my trust, so I'll show you a little more of me. Thank you. Never thought I could share this much with anyone. I can't believe myself right now. I want to bet on this. This might be the first and last time, but you are her harmonious. I'm going to bet on that hope. Paradigm shift! Paradigm shift! Uh, how can I get there if there's no Stonehenge? Oh, hi, Ayatomi. This is so abnormal. I'll take Mother to Stonehenge. We will meet at the Cliff of Grief. Dark side, level two, Cage of Heart. Dark. When did I get Dark Side level one? Oh. <laughs> I've lost track of all these spells. I will show you my all in the next level. Come back if you want to. Oh. Yeah. Okay. One more thing. I realized something from talking with you. What is it? I might be expecting more from the humans than I think. If I had already given up, I wouldn't be hating them so much. My hate toward the humans is only acting on my expectations. You may very well be right. Well, Mother, let's get going. Yes. Well then, Croy? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> the next level. Will I be able to handle it? Oh, is that the outfit we get? Yes. We completed level 7. Another outfit for Jacqueline to be pissed about. We completed level 7 crime and obtained mirrors. Is there another level 7 if we choose the other girl? Well, the other... Jet for her. Yeah. Let's see... Oh, are we going back? Yep. We can't find out right now. Oh, okay. But we can have our usual post-dive talk topics with her right now. We should, yep. That! <laughs> okay, hi, Cloche. Where have you been all episode? <laughs> Croy, about Cynthia. Something wrong? Did she do something to you? You didn't realize. Huh? She was very depressed because of you. Well, uh... This is Cynthia, the most straightforward acting girl I know. Don't tell me you didn't notice. Uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. You're not supposed to be the dense one. You know I'm bad. We all know I'm bad at these. <laughs> it's not me you should be apologizing to. That's not an apology Cynthia needs, either. Or, like, did I do something to Cynthia? I don't know that. I can only tell that she's very sad and that it has to do with you. So tomorrow... No, this can't wait another day. Uh, 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 okay, I'll, I'll do it. Wait, at this time? Her shop's closed already. Then knock louder, break down her door, and make sure you talk with her. Okay, okay. Well, true, she did seem a little depressed. I should do this anyway. <sighs> oh, okay. 
<laughs> I can't cry Scottish. <laughs> knock. <laughs> knock knock. Cynthia, what's wrong? Ah! What the hell are you doing here? No, no, get, get, co! What are you here at this time of day? Ah! Go away. <laughs> Came to see how you were doing. You seemed a little strange. You were worried? Of course. Did something happen? Uh, no, nothing. Hmm. Slap him. Slap him. <laughs> nothing at all. It's nothing important. If you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. But it's obvious you're trying to hide it. I'm not hiding! You and I go a while back, you know. That's a weird way of saying it. <laughs> you think so? Mm. I guess... It's obvious, huh? If you don't want to tell me, I won't ask, and I'll just go home. Even if you do tell me, I think the best I can do is listen anyway. Mm. I think I'll have you listen. It's something I realized as I was watching you lately, anyway. See, Croy, Rave Tales are amazing, huh? Amazing. You mean magic? Yeah, attack, heal, magic can do anything. How are Luca and them? They can use strong magic, right? And they're more powerful than you? Way more powerful, I guess. To be honest, it's to the point where I feel insecure without them. <laughs> I see. If you can say that much about it, then it must be really amazing. Plus, not only can they attack, but they can heal wounds too. Seriously, magic is so convenient and nice. I guess it can't be helped. I can only make weapons. How can I ever win against them? Cynthia? Cause no way can I make a sword mid-battle! <laughs> well, you have people who can use strong magic so you're okay, huh? Guess weapons I, I make won't even stand a chance against magic. Well, it's impossible. Common sense. Beating magic with a weapon. I mean... You could stab a mage and they'd still die. Ah, oh, well, too bad. I seriously feel so lost. I don't want to hear it. Huh? I don't want to hear words like that coming from your mouth. You would never say anything hesitant about the weapons you make. The Cynthia I know would never admit losing to anything. What happened to you? Tell me everything. You went and got a girlfriend. Okay. That's what happened. Oh. No. N nah, nothing really. I just told you the truth. That can't be all. The usual Cynthia never says anything like that. You're always... You're always serious about making weapons. It's strange of you to be saying this. It's nothing strange. You're overanalyzing this. It's just that I realized in the face of magic, the stuff I, u I make is useless. What seriously happened? We're friends, right? If you're troubled, just tell me. I said it's really nothing. Then why are you saying all this? Because it's the truth. Don't say it's the truth. The weapons you make are different. But you s even said magic is really strong. Yeah, I did. But did I ever say your weapons were weak? I would never say that. The fact of the matter is, it's no good. In the face of magic, the weapons I make are... So then what? Are you saying the stuff you gave me was completely powerless against magic? Because we use it to beat, like, a crap ton of Raven Tales, by the way. Answer me, Cynthia! You didn't care about me, so you just gave me whatever was lying around? Ah! Uh, of course not! The stuff I made was all full of my best effort! I would never slack off on any of them. Even if you asked me to, I would never do that. So that you wouldn't die, at least for sure. <coughs> I thought about it the whole time I made them. Thinking about you, hoping the best for you. 
I tolerated this entire time just for you. That's why I continued with this weapon shop I hate for so long. It was all for you, Koo. For you. That's why I... I said it. Goodbye. Get out. Sorry. Just... No. I'm sorry too. Uh, I was so surprised. I didn't think you'd get mad at me for putting my own creations down. But you got mad too. Because you put them down all the time, so I figured you... Because <laughs> <laughs> I never really slacked off on any of them, not even once. I know. That's why I trust you. If you betray me there, of course I'll get mad, right? You trust me? More than anyone else. About weapons. What? What the hell? Anyway, is it true that you don't like being at the weapon shop? Oh, uh, kinda. Honestly, I hate that. Sorry, but I can't believe that. You hate the weapon shop? I hate a lot of things. <laughs> well, I guess it's hard for you to believe since you know me for so long. But you know, I make weapons and bombs and all those things, but after all I'm a girl, you know. So rather than swords and armor and stuff, it's just I would prefer to be surrounded by cute things. Cute things? Oh, do you mean flowers? Yep, you remember. <laughs> you see I actually Oh, you're not allowed to laugh. If you laugh, I'm going to get mad. I won't laugh. So, you actually what? Yeah, the other day I happened to see soul magic with my very own eyes. I actually want to quit being a weapon shop and open up a flower shop. I don't know as much about it, but I like flowers as much as weapons. But I think I prefer being surrounded by flowers than weapons. That's why I want to quit the weapon shop soon. This is a secret, okay? Yeah, I won't tell anyone. But... You can change over to a flower shop starting now if you want, can't you? You're the type to be inspired and act immediately upon thinking it. Uh, uh, could you possibly have forgotten me? About what? You're trying to save the world? Ah, oh, jeez, Koo, you're so bad at this stuff. Why can't you say that kind of thing like, it no like nothing? When I said I wanted to quit last time, you were the one who said you'd be troubled. Uh oh uh, I, I did say that, but that, that's, uh... You mean you couldn't quit because of me? Well, I mean, I could have ignored you and went ahead and quit. But if I did, then you wouldn't be happy, right? Well, of course. How am I supposed to find a better weapon shop than yours? See, that's why I held off on the flower shop idea. And plus, you're unreliable, so I got worried. Little lads to weigh, I still can't quit, jeez. I cause you quite a bit of inconvenience, huh? Yeah, you really cause me a ton of inconvenience. Sorry. I mean, I know saying this name is too late, so that's why if you're going to cause me trouble, you can do it all the way. I'll make sure to take care of you until the very end. Sure, I thought you wanted to open a flower shop. I don't I, I don't want to cause you trouble because of my selfish reasons. It's worse if you use a weapon from some third class weapon shop and end up dying. That's why for now it's on hold. And plus, if I really wanted to, I could quit at any time. So you're gonna use the best weapons I make and beat up the bad guys. If you die holding something I made, I'm never going to forgive you. <laughs> you're gonna beat up a lot of bad guys destroy all the bad guys and make this world not need a weapon shop anymore make it one a flower shop you're a knight so you're not supposed to cause a girl tr like me trouble you're a knight so you have to protect my dream I'm yeah. using my R's here yeah I have to do my best for you and as a knight you have to try even harder than everyone else I'll do my best as a weapon shop for now, too. Yeah. I'm sorry, but... 
I want you to try hard for just a while longer for me. To grant my good friend's dream of becoming a flower shop owner, too. Friend, huh? That's so very you. What, was that not what I was supposed to say? showed you my weird side, but will you come again even tomorrow? Alright. I will. Well, even if you didn't ask me, I think I'm going to have to come here for a while longer anyway. <laughs> yeah. Could just a little bit? <laughs> Can I? Can I? <laughs> Hug. Jack Lee, do you have a minute? No. <laughs> Welcome, you can have whatever you want. If you're tired, you should rest. <laughs> what was that? Me, done with your shit. <laughs> Cosmosphere number 7A. I can't believe you're still alive after how many times you've died, didn't you? Am I supposed to be happy about that? Oh, I'm complimenting you. To be honest, I didn't think you could go any further after the world I created. Even if you did go to the sixth level, I thought you would die or give up. D do me a favor and stop talking about me dying. I don't, I don't think I'll die, but you're almost convincing me that I might. That's what I'm trying. To do. How horrible. But even then, you'll keep doing it for me, right? I do believe in you. Of course. If you keep accepting me, then I'll keep doing it till the end. Okay, I'm counting on you. You don't sound like you are. But I, su <laughs> but I suppose the fact that that even passed your lips speaks volumes. Plan on bullying? I think I want to take this decorative mail with me when I return to my world. You like it? Where did this come from? Uh, remember the decorative mail we made? Oh. No, I just thought about it now. See, you can use it to hold candles. The mail we made out of cake. <laughs> oh, right. I can bring it back like it's a birthday cake. That could be interesting. Give it to Orica. <laughs> she would totally wear it. Problem is, how would I make it hold 700 candles? What did you say? <laughs> I bet you would come crying at me if I put all 700 of them. I can't wait. Shh! Sherelia? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you're just trying to find a way to be mean, huh? Yes. <laughs> Babe, it's really hot. I hate her hot. I'm starting to get a headache. I'm sorry. It's probably going to pick up on the mic. They can live with it! Our comfort comes above being YouTubers. I read the exact opposite in their terms and conditions. Turn it slightly so that it's not just blowing on me. So that your sister can get some air to It is getting- I actually might have to go get my inhaler. It should cool down in here. It cools down pretty quickly <laughs> once the air conditioner turns on. I can just feel- Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she has another one. <coughs> now I need you closer to the mic. Me? Or you? This is about as close as I can get. Hey, about speak up- SHUT UP! Ah! Uh, I, uh... 
I know you're not in the best mood, but, um, we can't just leave this. I, I guess Spica was the one at fault, but things won't change by just sitting here. It's not like I understand fully what's going on, but it's not that she tried to make you angry on purpose. So then, maybe you can go talk to her about why this happened? Or... That's not necessary. <laughs> but, but I mean... I know all that already. Hey, Croy, do you know what loneliness feels like when your only friend leaves you? No, I don't. I've never experienced that, nor do I ever want to. Useless. N you're mean. But I guess that's normal if I think about it. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> so, what are you going to do? Well, I guess I'll pop in to visit her later. I have to complain for something for something or else I won't be satisfied either. You're weird. What's wrong? My back hurts from all the walking and stuff. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> if I lay down now, I'm not getting back up. <laughs> Speak up. The Jacqueline. Oh, what are you so surprised about? Ah, this is f I never thought you would come again. Don't worry. I know for sure I don't even want to see your face right now either. But you came, which means there's a reason. Come to settle the school with me. Oh, well, that's a good idea, Spica. But I don't feel like that right now. I see. Then, what did you come here for? It's a good chance for me to talk, you, talk to you on the same level. Thanks to you blurting out my weakness in front of everyone. I see. So what did you want to talk about? But before that, there's something I need you I need to say to you. I'm prepared. Say whatever you need to. Just one word's enough. Ellipsis. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? Why are you apologizing? I thought this is what I had to do. Because I think this happened because of me. What's that supposed to mean? Are you mocking me? It was me who gave you a reason to make you feel so lonely, so... I kind of... maybe... to understand how you might feel. The pain of being lonely. I'll tell you now, but I know if you're lying, you were lonely. For a few hundred years I was alone, locked up. I know what it's like being lonely, and that's why I know know you are. You were so lonely, you gave yourself a weakness, right? That's right. I want to deny it, but it's just as you say. It's so pitiful, I can't even cry about it. I've worked so hard until now trying to make this world mine, you know. And yet here I am, feeling lonely. And for such a childish reason, I blurted out your weakness. To toss away an important weakness to keep my human resource so easily. I just can't forgive myself for that. I kind of vaguely know how you might feel. But... Was I just a human resource to you? A necessary personnel for you to take control of the world? Was that all? Mm. Why don't you tell me before you ask? You're right. Honestly, when I first met you, I thought you were so annoying. Are you okay? Yes, I knew that. Not anymore. How so? It's your turn now. What about you? Well, let's see. At first, I thought you'd be the perfect bodyguard and errand girl at the same time. You're so mean. Really, I still think you'd be the best. But, I wonder why. The more I got to know you, it's like that thought kind of faded away. After we left Soul CL, we were alone together for a long time. We talked so much during that time. 
Yeah, it was actually quite fun. Yes, I agree. But because of that, I learned that we're very alike, and so... So that's why I think I let myself trust you. When I became when I became queen, I wanted you to stand beside me on the same level. I seriously gave that thought. I see. But lately it feels like you're slowly drifting away from me. Watching you travel with Croy, especially. Every time you guys visit you come visit me, you guys are closer to each other. So that's been her problem. She is jealous! <coughs> I felt like you were showing off to me, and I felt lonely at first. But then I got scared. It looks like the only person in this world who knew me deeply, the most precious person to me, was slowly le leaving away from me. Leaving away from me. That's <laughs> leaving away from me. And then you picked Croy over me at that time. And pointed straight out that I was lonely. You lost it, and before I, you realized it, you were ranting, huh? Exactly. I regret it. Seriously, it hurt me a lot. I think you need a little more training. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I didn't have enough strength to leave for an outside world. You speak strong for someone who decided to come with me yourself. And so, I was thinking of going back to Sol Ciel. Why? I'm thinking of looking for a partner who would stay with me forever. I ship it. I shouldn't have left that world without a partner to begin with. You ship Jackley and Speaker? Sure, Shipping why not? Well, now what is Croy gonna do? I mean... <laughs> I mean, I don't permanently ship them, obviously, but when they were together and Croy wasn't in the picture, I shipped them. <laughs> I don't, Temporary I think that's sale. cheating. That's not cheating. Not if she left Speaker for Croy. <laughs> Everyone wants a piece of this guy. That's typical of yeah, this no, it's very typical. Oh. But is there anyone who's strange enough to agree with your ambitions? Let's see. How about Misha? <laughs> or maybe Shirelia. No way can Shirelia leave that world. She's the administrator there. And if you told Misha, I bet you she'll stop you. Oh, yeah, you might be right about that. And she won't have much of a weakness. I'll have to find someone else then. Yeah. But will you find anyone strange enough? Who knows? Orca! Do you know anyone who might be weird enough to come with me? Well, there's only one person I know. Someone very strange. Who would lend a hand for anything that you do. Oh, really? But I don't want anyone weak. Don't worry there. They have enough power to fight Shirelia one on one. Sounds reliable. So, who is this person? Me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I feel the same too. I don't want to separate from you either. Are you serious? I told everyone your secret and you've been trying to hide for so long. Make no mistake, I'm still very angry about that. If it weren't you, I would have burned you with the ma with magic and left nothing. But I want to stay with you. You said you wanted to stay with me too, right? So it works out that you blurted my secret. Now you and I are equals. We can talk without holding anything back. So I forgive you. Damn it, Mir, the game has you as a root for Cory. Don't do this to him! You really are a strange one. Oh, we're alike, don't you think? True. Then, Jackley, will you stay with me and help me rule the world? If you request help of me as friends and not some slave, then sure. If so, then I'll do anything for you. Alright. I want you to help me make my dream a reality. I ask this of you, as my friend. I see. Well, I can't refuse if you're asking me as a friend. Speaker, you're my first human friend. So I'll make sure to grant you, grant you your wish. If anyone gets in the way, I'll beat them up, no matter who it is. Including Croy, not Croy. <laughs> oh, how reliable, even if it's Shirelia. That's the easiest. Okay. I know way too many of her weaknesses. That's I know way too many of her weaknesses that I can fill a book with them. If anything happens, I'll spread that to the world. 
Hmm? What's wrong? No, nothing. Oh, it's getting late. Yeah. The light's in here. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to walk with you? It's okay. I'm feeling a little embarrassed right now. Oh, what a coincidence. What a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> well then, see you again, speaker. Yep, see you. I guess all of the shop owners are going to have a scene like this. So, I think my ending ship, if I ever played this again, would be Croy and Cloche, Skycat and Luca, and Spica and Jackly. Okay, do we want to take a quick break to do a drink run? Okay. While we're waiting for Mindy to come back. Thank you. I'm going to ask for a massage tonight. Kayla, no! Short break, guys. We're just doing a quick drink run. Kayla, push the button. Did you not hear the Kayla, no! So, did we lose the scene? I don't know. Was there a scene? Yes. I'm sorry. She went to follow you. Oh, fucking damn it, dog. She didn't do it on purpose. Calm down. the scene. I think she just pushed a button. I'm sorry. Can I put that up there? I don't have to keep getting up. Too long since I started traveling with you guys, right? I guess if you say so. Feels longer than it really has been. True. It's probably because of you, Croy. We do talk a lot like this. Yeah, well, I don't want to force it if you don't want to. Oh, you're not at all. It's not like I'm yawning to the conversation. I'm having fun. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I'm glad. <laughs> if I get bored, I'll just kick you out. Is that what you I'm just joking. Wasn't it funny? I can see you really doing that, though. Sound just like... Oh, mm. yes. Kayla. <laughs> Over here. Goofy girl. There we go. That didn't fix it. Yeah. 
come here and away from the microphone. High five. Good girl. Mm -hmm. High five. Mm -hmm. oh, I gotta teach my math. That's a good one. It's not much different than Paul. Yeah. Paul, he just kind of yeah. slams it into my face. Oh, Roy, welcome. Hey. Uh... Ignoring me. <laughs> oh, you're here too? I was hoping for some fun time with Roy. <laughs> we still have stuff to do now. There's no time for that. When we're done, I'll tie him up and bring him here, so wait until then. <laughs> Don't treat me like an object. More importantly, when do you two make up? Huh? Uh, weren't you two in a fight? We were. I don't remember any. You made such a big fuss about it, too. Well, you know what they say, the closer you are, the more you fight. Anyway, I'll give this to you, Jackie. Ribbon, Ribbon corsage. Okay. That's not a recipe. What's with this embarrassing ribbon? Don't be fooled by its looks. It's very useful. Sounds uselessly expensive, too. It's for free. That's just suspicious. I'll give it back. It's a friend's discount for free! Oh, I see. Then I guess I'll take it. But it really is an embarrassing design. I thought it'd be perfect for you. If there's a boy you like, you have to get a little dressed up. Yes, but the boy is supposed to give the girl- Never mind. What? Why would I like any boys? Why would I take this? But you're putting it away. <laughs> anyway, is it just my imagination that you two seem closer than before? Thanks to being free of my weakness, we're even. That might be why. <laughs> There's nothing I'm afraid of now. <sighs> How could I? That was such a bad mistake. Regret it hard. That'll teach you a good lesson. So in order to not forget my mistake, I made this book. Oh? Sounds interesting. What is it? what is the title of it mistake? This is it. Here, you can have the you can have one too, Croy. Oh, uh, what's this? Cutesy lovely family springtime with me what? Author Mir? Hey! Speak up! What the hell are you trying to sell off there? And what's with the incredibly embarrassing title? Oh, but you're okay with it now, right? Are you planning to spread it to the world? Aw, oh, Daddy, you're reading the newspaper in the bathroom again? Boo. What? <laughs> First time for me reading this kind of book. <laughs> don't read it out loud! Just don't read it at all! Give it to me! Uh, hey! It's pretty interesting, though. <laughs> you don't want me to sell it, right? Then you should come and visit my shop often. <laughs> I... <laughs> hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Spika is such a pain in the butt. <laughs> she was like that in the first game, too. We're going back to the book thing. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Spika. <laughs> when did you make up with Spika? We were never fighting to start with. You're still saying that <laughs> after all that? Even if we were, I don't hold grudges like children. We're both a mature adults. Are you talking about how old you are? You shouldn't try to talk about how old the lady is. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. It's inevitable to face a little complication here and there during your life. And if that happens, friends are supposed to make up soon. I see. You're right, Jackley. If you and Speaker weren't friends, you guys would have been off on... You guys would have been off a bad term. Huh? You sure. guys would be on bad terms. <laughs> <laughs> they tried. <laughs> you and Spika weren't friends. You guys would be on bad terms right now. We're not friends! You just contradicted yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha, are you here? Oh, yes, yes! <laughs> Sounds like she's there. Maybe she's making herself lunch again? Sorry. I'm sorry to make you wait. You, you didn't have to rush out that fast. No! It's a bad thing to make a customer wait. We can come back if you'd like. You were making lunch, right? Oh, no. Today's not lunch. I just had a lot of work piled up, so I was doing that. 
But didn't you mention it's gotten a little easier? Well, um, uh, there's a big difference in the good times and the bad times, so right now is a really busy time. Sounds tough. If there's anything we can help with, don't hesitate to tell us. We'll try to help you as much as we can. Oh, no, I'm still very okay. I can still work hard, so don't worry so much about me, okay? Oh, if you say so. You're okay then, right? Yes. I'm still okay. Okay. Hmm. Is the item thing that we need in the next dungeon? Uh, the down gown. That's in the final dungeon. Oh. Uh. Oh god. Oh god. Uh. There's three of them. I joined a fan club thing in my case, match play clubs. <laughs> I joined the fan club attracted deeply to Lady Cloche's fortune. I joined the fan club feeling I had to take care of Lady Cloche. You okay with that? <laughs> yeah, my voice was not the freaking albuterol, man. <laughs> <coughs> Cynthia, are you here? As I stand two feet in front of you. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, nice to see you here again. You look dead tired. All nights are sleepy. Making things without sleep is so tiring. Of course it is. Are you okay? Mm, I feel <laughs> who's love. All right. Feeling refreshed. Ah! Um. Well. What's wrong? Nothing. By the way, what were you making all night? <laughs> I'll show you! Ta-da! There were way too many D's in yeah, that. <laughs> <-ra>! <laughs> Brown cuff. Oh. Cufflinks. Sure. It's a special item I made for you. Isn't it amazing? But for me? I don't want my precious coup to die, you know. So you better come back alive again! Y yeah but are you sure I can have it? Of course! Huh. <laughs> uh, after all, it's a gift from me to you with lots of love. Uh, hey, 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 hey now! You really are close, huh? It's not what it looks like. But I doubt you'll listen. I'm telling Jack Lee <laughs> and Targana. <laughs> and every other female. <laughs> well, good luck, Coop. I hate you. <laughs> uh, need to kill somebody else off in my Targana X Croy fanfic. <laughs> the Yowie will happen. <laughs> oh, hey there. What's wrong? You sound kind of lazy today. I just finished up making a weapon for this other customer. It was a huge hammer, so I'm just really tired. I see. You're pretty small, so making weapons must be hard physical labor. I don't deny that I'm kind of small, but it just takes getting used to... Oh, but I use... I... Oh, I use a lot instead of physical strength for your stuff. So no matter what I make, I'll never get tired. And neither will my enemies. <laughs> oh god, more Sasha. <laughs> more Sasha it is. <laughs> um... Da -la 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 -la. I don't know. Your your brain went there. My brain went um. One of the songs from Arno Search. I was trying to do Cloche's theme. Oh. 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 Do, 
<laughs> you really like working for the shop, huh? Yes, because I'm the owner shop. I'm the shop. <laughs> 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 yeah, because I'm the shop owner right now. <laughs> I'm proud of you for not getting tired of being so busy. But I love the shop. And there's people like you that come to my shop often, so it's fun. I see. It's so strange. Watching you makes me so interested in working for a shop like this. Because it's really fun! <laughs> I wish I could have experienced being a shop clerk once, if I were a normal girl. <laughs> if you're interested in being a shop clerk, would you like to try it out? Huh? As a part-time worker, whenever you have the time, you can come. A, a part-timer? The, the, the holy maiden is a part-timer? <laughs> <laughs> Watch that anime yet, though. <laughs> I heard it's really good. R really? But I've never worked for a shop, so... Are you not allowed to do this kind of work? It's not that I'm not allowed, but... Then would you like to try? You can tell me when you have some time. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Don't worry. If you don't know, then I'll teach you. And most of it's only watching over the shop and cleaning. It's easy. Thank you, Sasha. Then I'll let you know when I have some time. Okay. I'm looking forward to taking care of the shop with you, Sister Klein. Oh, well. <laughs> ah! Oh, God. Uh, Luca, mind if I come in? Sure, why not? <laughs> How's Cynthia? You reconciled with Cynthia. Good for you. I'm sorry I made you worry about it. You can be pretty dull sometimes, so I was worried that you were not aware of it. I can't deny that. <laughs> but I could still notice there was something wrong with her, at least. Is that because you've known her for years? I guess. She was my first friend when I moved out to Pastalia. Mm. Well, Cynthia was talking about her love for you or something, <laughs> as usual. Oh, that? I'm glad she's already over it, but... It's pretty weird she got back to normal so quickly. Is that like a daily joke with you? It would be better if it wasn't every day. At most, it should be every... third day. I know she's joking around, but I'm not quite used to it. Mm. Croy, you really are insensitive. I think I'm starting to support Cynthia. <laughs> what? You're not talking about your fanfic again, are you? Maybe. Excuse me, it's Croy. I didn't see the line. Just make something up like you did for Luca. Oh. Hi, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> How's Cynthia? You became even closer to Cynthia than ever, huh? You look irritated. What are you talking about so suddenly? I feel like her attitude's different from before. Really? She was pretty much the same as before, joking all the time. I feel she was pretty serious with her words this time, don't you think? That's a delusion. You're thinking too much, Lady Cloche. First of all, she likes more buff guys. I'm too <laughs> frail looking for her. Look, I'm pretty skinny, so she's worried if I can beat up my enemies easily. She's never serious with me. Hmm. Well, I guess that she talks about love all the time is a little abnormal in the first place. Croy, you should be more sensitive, or at least learn women's delicacy a little bit. Am I that insensitive? Yes. Uh... Oh god, more sky cat. Master, I'm so tired. You have a beat. Was the shop busy? It was horrible, my goddess. Um. No, no, no my. She's uh, swearing. Oh, she was horrible, my goddess. 
It was horrible. What? She was horrible? What? <laughs> Wake up, Kage. <laughs> if I had to be... If, if the bed, the bed, the bed. <laughs> it had to be the busiest in the past few months. I can't go on with just the dessert from the service food. That's all you've been eating? <laughs> but wasn't the dessert from this place a really big portion? But there's more fruits and stuff than the cream. That's the problem. I like sweet stuff. Only sweet stuff can give me energy. <laughs> oh, it's something sweet. Yeah, no, we're just like, no, I'm hungry. <sighs> I want to eat sweets. My body feels so heavy and weak. You really look tired. It's past the level of tired. Jeez, <laughs> oh, seriously, I want a bucket full of whipped cream. Whipped cream and feel refreshed. I, I hate when people write whipped cream instead of whipped cream. Cool whip. As I always say, it's gonna make you fat. As I always as I always say, it's really bad for you. I have sweets downstairs, but somebody put them so far back on the shelf I can't reach them. Who is that? Okay, uh, why did you do that? What kind of sweets? Vanilla cupcake fishies. Vanilla cupcake fish? Goldfish. The, the goldfish. The baked goldfish. They're vanilla flavor? They have a vanilla cupcake flavor. They also have a s'mores flavor that he has. I have not going to have to investigate this. Go get the fishies. We can do it. <laughs> I want to eat more of that pork stuff later. I want my fishies. He's <laughs> 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 so <laughs> He lets me be so lazy when I'm here. <laughs> alone before the two of you moved in together? No. You should have gotten yours too you so she could try the Italian family. Oh, so he's not used to being alone? No, he is not. Leave it. This is not for you. Uh, what are we even supposed to be doing? Mickry Forest. Right, I accidentally went there and triggered the next scene. Steve wants me. Ten o'clock. Okay. He's gonna try and do him. Oh, okay. Do you need the link? No, I already sent it to him. I okay. saw it on there. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Croy. I'm gonna take a part of Mom. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> so, can you wait a bit? Yeah, no problem. They taste like Teddy Grahams. They're so good, they're aren't they? They're, gold, they're called Goldfish Grahams. No, I know, but they're... Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, these are... <laughs> oh, God. This is this is my go-to stream. This is snack. dangerous. <laughs> this one touched the dog, but I'm still gonna eat it. Yeah, she's Thank fine. you. <laughs> he has s'mores ones mm. downstairs. <laughs> hairpin. I'll take mom's hairpin. Okay. Um, is it okay if I call you Leka right now? Yes. Go ahead, sis. <laughs> Leka. Thank you for coming with me. I'm glad I was able to come get a keepsake from Mom before the fall. It's alright. I actually wanted to come here too. I'm glad you're honest. Thanks. <laughs> then we equal out. I guess so. I'm happy I was able to come here today. There's something I wanted to give you. Me? Here. This. This is a pendant? Yep. A sun pendant. I thought it might look good on you. Didn't you already make matching magical girl rings? She gave Lu Luca the moon pendant before... on their birthday. What and then she shattered it. What brought this on? Oh, um, well, Leica... Hmm? Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, today it's my... Yep, I secretly asked Mom the other day. When she was still alive. The birth ceremony day is actually my birthday. Lady Cloche was born on that day. Since it was in the records, they couldn't change it. 
I see. But Luca is the real Lady Close. Your real birthday is today, and we're the only ones who know. What's this? Thank you. I'll treasure it forever. <laughs> oh yeah, I have something to give you too. I wanted to give it to you, but haven't gotten around to it till now, but here. This is the moon pendant for my birthday. I hate you! <laughs> you mean you picked it up and had it the entire time? Yes, that's right. They got me so sorry. Hugs. You must have been so hurt. You could barely hold yourself together, but I... It's okay. That was both of our faults. But... Sis... See? Now we match. Huh? Our necklaces, the moon and sun, we match. Oh, you're right! <laughs> I am Cloche, you are Luca. But the real precious names we got from our mothers. I am Leica, you are Cloche. As the truly worth family, you are Leica, I am Luca. One precious family, sisters. And as maidens, I am Cloche. I'm also Cloche. <laughs> I am you. Thou art I. You are me. I am thou. <laughs> it's so strange. Really. Mom, are you watching us? We're doing well here. We still fight sometimes, but we still think of each other. We're precious sisters. So you can rest in peace and continue to watch over us, Mom. My poor mother was so confused. The the death scene of their mom, I was bawling my eyes out. Oh, no. And then once the scene was over, I was like, excuse me, I have to go hug my mom real quick. Yeah. <laughs> my mother was so confused. So, can we actually use these items we've been getting? Can you cook with them? Dead fish necklace. Oh, the ribbon corsage and the brown cuffs. Let me see the brown cuffs. Oh! That's really powerful. They're character only items. Yep. Those what? Are not brown. How are those brown cuffs? How those are, are those blue and yellow. How are those cuffs? I, they're cuffs for what? <laughs> they're supposed to be some kind of cuff link, I think. Well, let's not waste <laughs> them. These are powerful. Girl power! And they're still wearing the matching rings. But the viola moon pendant and cello sun pendant, or whatever they are, are key items. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we've done what we need to do here, so now what? Hey, we have any new IPDs? I don't know. How many what? IPDs are, uh, like. Oh, oh. <laughs> Help yourself. <laughs> Things are amazing. Mm -hmm. They're like bonus bosses that we can go out and defeat and add their power to ours for our supercharge attack. Thank I, you, baby. I feel wind coming from under the monument. Do you think we can move this by any chance? How troublesome. Let's just break it apart. The oh. last time you exploded something, <laughs> it got us into a fight. Oh, here we go again. Wait, Jackley! <laughs> Uh-oh. Run! <laughs> God damn it. I know she's not gonna hurt us. <laughs> well, she did it again! <laughs> That's the third time! <laughs> It's only three times. Stop <laughs> complaining. It's such a picky man as always. See, there's a hole. If we're going, let's go. 
<laughs> Here, you don't have to explode everything you find to be a problem. <laughs> That's your opinion. There's also these things that we get. I don't have any here, but I, I get them constantly in New Jersey. They're little cakes that you make in coffee mugs. Shut and, up. And they're like one person size. That sounds amazing. Yeah, they've got like a vanilla confetti cake. That's my man. Hi, Hi baby! More than <laughs> Hi, Steve! <laughs> but yeah, they've got like um, a s'more cake. They've got blueberry muffin. S'more cake. Blueberry muffin. What's like the brand? Oh, God, I don't remember off the top of my head. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. That looks like a rupee. That. It does look like a rupee. <laughs> that looks like some kind of heart of guy almost. This is huge! Oh, it is a That's a heart of Gaia? Oh, I was talking about the tree. Oh, <laughs> I'm talking about that little... So small. This is amazing. I never knew such a big tree could grow in the rim. This can't be real. The rim is a man-made structure. It's hard enough to spread roots. <laughs> a tree this big is impossible. Then this tree... <laughs> could it be the heart of Gaia? No doubt. This is the singer of Mikri Forest. In other words, the warden of Mikri. <laughs> my brain went Game of Thrones. What? My game went, um... Brain of Thrones. Brain of Thrones? <laughs> game of Thrones. <laughs> this is it? The Guardian Warden that the mayor was talking about? The whole series is on YouTube if you think you would enjoy games like this. He loves games like this. That's yeah. why we want to get one of the classic NESs or whatever. But this was PS2. Yes. Yeah, we, uh... We do this every weekend. <laughs> this this is how this is how we have fun. Most likely, the heart is what created the Mickey Forest. Oh, we need to play games in this manner, not oh. necessarily play games like this. Is she one. destroying uh, that? Or? No, she's okay. just chewing on it. It's supposed to crinkle. Oh, okay. That is what he meant, right? He meant no. He me he meant we need to play games that are like literally this style. Okay. Oh. I don't know about Twitch. Did you read that? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought it was weird. This was the only place in the room where the forests were so thick. Did the mayor want to take this heart with him? Probably, even if it's a crystal, a heart of Gaia is a life. Then let's take it to him. Yeah. What happens if we steal the heart of Oh god. This is what happens. Who are these guys? No. No, 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 no. Meow, meow. Meow. They're called meow. Meow. <laughs> um, let's see some of that new magic, Jackley. Okay. Uh, we, yeah. My we, slaves. My slaves. We don't have dark, d dark whatever. We only got level two, not level one, mm -hmm. so we can't use it. But we, I doubt this battle will last long enough to use that synchro magic, but we can try. And why we need did, to change. Why did Leglius swap in with Coconut again? <laughs> because I don't want to fight! Coconut, we need you. I'm tired! <laughs> We've been walking forever! Squall land? Is that a weapon? Name? That's an attack. Oh, okay. Meow. 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 <laughs> They're so cute. I want one. <laughs> They're powerful. Ow. These are like base monsters, though. <laughs> yeah, but they're upgraded to a boss fight form, I guess. And yeah, this battle isn't going to last long enough to see that super magic. <laughs> Just end it. I Are we gonna put on Jackley's new outfit? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to put on Jackley's new outfit. 
Don't worry. There's no need to be afraid. Are you talking to the heart? Oh. I'm talking to the whole thing. The forest. Everything. Warden of Mikri. Now this forest will disappear, but its heart will be able to live on. <laughs> no! <laughs> I have never seen that movie! I refuse to see that Jack movie. dies at the end. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> you know how it ends! What's the point? The boat sinks! <laughs> She lets go. (laughs) She breaks her promise. (laughs) Yes. If we create Metaphalica, we can make another Mikri forest there. It's so great. I can take the forest I grew up with. Yeah. We'll leave it with the mayor so that he can hold on to it. Do-do-do. Come on, Luca. Good night, my grief forest. It'll just be a while, and a short goodbye. Thank you for protecting us all. Aww. That's totally something I would do. Oh god, this was me, right? You got this! <laughs> so, this was it. The Warden of Mikri? Yes, it is! I never dreamed I would ever see it again with my very own eyes! Oh my god. (laughs) It was this crystal that created Mikri Forest, huh? Indeed it was! That's why it was our guardian! I only know from hearsay! I almost said (laughs) hearsay! I almost said hearsay! I almost said hearsay! Hearsay! I only know from hearsay! And there's no proof anymore, but... Controller, behave. <laughs> 400 years ago, our ancestors were given this guardian by the Holy Maiden. The Maiden from 400 years ago? She told them, this guardian is small, but it can create a forest to use this to nourish the world. <laughs> but at the time, this land was in chaos. After having suffered repeated wars, our ancestors waited for peace to come and went on a journey in search of a place to create a forest. I'm getting late headed from this voice. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I've never done this voice for that long. <laughs> <laughs> they traveled from Pastalia to the Rim and Edda beyond Rockshack and finally reached this land. The place where Mikri Forest lies now used to be like the Iron Plate Desert. It said the warden created the forest in one night. It is indeed a miraculous guardian. So what happened? So that's what happened. Thank you very much. It hugs a better. I had already given up. It's been centuries since the forest was made. No one has ever seen it. Because nobody ever thought to blow up that fucking monument. <laughs> I had my doubts that it was only legend. Don't be so rude, you're insulting our warden! Say you're sorry! Um, apologize to a rock? Do it now! I'm sorry? Not good enough! (laughs) We, the people of Bent, will never forget this debt to you. Now I can truly surrender this land. I'm glad we had regretted just that one thing. We can now create Metaphalica without worry. Yeah, do your best! We pray from our hearts for you to succeed. I will just put this inside my chest now. <laughs> well then, we need to go prepare for moving now. Thank you so much! This is a humble gift. Please take it. Thread, Thread of binding. binding. That's an accessory we already have. I'm so glad. Luca, thank you. If you hadn't scolded me then, I wouldn't- I would have abandoned these people's feelings. Oh, no, thank you for saving Mikri Forest. So So that voice, the way that I do that voice, (laughs) it requires me to breathe and not breathe at the same time. 
And it, after a while, starts to hurt my head. Yeah, okay, so we are using like Leah. Make my head feel stuffy. Huh? Yeah, it's it's a pain in the butt. <clears throat> uh, Luca and Close are gonna talk to each other. Okay. Knock knock. Are you listening? <laughs> Can you please warn me before you use the magic? What? Why would I do that? Hey, are you listening to me? Didn't I tell you that before? I mean, you do your job of destroying things, but that could attract more enemies. Then I'll have to destroy them all. <laughs> <laughs> So you're telling me to be responsible to be responsible for for the enemies if I use the magic. Well, not 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 like that. I, I don't think she understands the most important thing. UFO. <laughs> what was that monster that we fought in the Mikri Forest? Oh, you're talking about a Neo? <laughs> you know about them? Yeah, I know all about Neos. Question. I know all about Neos. Why are you talking in the form of a question? It's their name. It's not just Nyo, it's Nyo? Oh, nice. Nyo, huh? No, Nyo? This is so complicated. <laughs> but what, what did that have to do with UFOs? Nyo? At night, when everyone was asleep... Lady Cloche, do you have a second to talk to me? Yes, actually, I wanted to talk to you, too. Flirting core. Oh. <laughs> By the way, we've had a lot of fights. Yeah, most people would never have gotten over the fights we've had. But we're together but we're together now. It's kinda of funny, isn't it? It sure is. We were enemies once. But I feel we'll still have lots of fights to to come. Yeah. Probably more than before. Well, <laughs> mom will be will mom be at wait <laughs> will mom be angry with us in heaven? Maybe. It is possible. But she'll probably just be watching us fondly. Also, I'm excited about it. About the fights we're going about the fights we're going to have. We'll have lots of sisterly quarrels. I've never done that before. Neither have I. So why don't we have many of them? Sure, it's going to be different from the quarrels we've had before. It's also exciting. And what did that have to do with flirting? I know, right? <laughs> Misleading. <laughs> These topic titles. <laughs> All right, we do need to put Mir's outfit on. Yes. There we go. Oh. Hmm? Oh, the telemo. Hey, it's Shun. Oh yeah, you're still a thing. I've joined up with Thralia here. Butt wings! Shut up! <laughs> Is that butt wings? Oh, we'll head over. <laughs> You'll see, he has butt wings. Nice. We'll head over in a bit, but where are you? Sorry, we're still at Luca's house. Should we head to the conductor <coughs> activator first? Yes. By the way, do you know how to get there? It should be to the south of where you are now. There's an entrance at the far end of Cloud's Wharf. From there, just climb up. Alright, we'll head there first. Butt wings! Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> Clouds more. Oh, this. Okay. Um, Anna. Anna Underground. No! That no. is not Anna Underground. Oh, are we going IPG hunting? Yes. Okay. This is the part where I would usually stop paying attention and draw. <laughs> but we have new magic. I know. I watched that part. Uh, level six, Mia. She's so cute! <laughs> She's got that shirt that Jackley likes. What's that? Fireworks? <laughs> and then they were saying oh, fireworks again? It's not even a fucking holiday! The one's over on the right here? That, that's not fun. We're really the mugginess to show out. I don't know if this battle's going to last long enough to activate it either. Oh, it's not supposed to rain for a week. Good. And I can.
can mow the lawn. Yeah. <laughs> make the neighbors happy. We'll make it a lazy day tomorrow. I'm usually up around 9. I can't sleep late. Okay. Yeah, I'm up at like But I'll fall back asleep at like late morning. Because that was while well, I was telling Kage I was probably playing around the same time I left the other day. I know you guys don't care if there's a football game that goes in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not big on the sports. <laughs> I'll watch the Olympics. I'm into the... screaming at the TV and rooting for a team. I'll watch the Olympics, but yeah. that's about it. And only the sports that I care about, like archery and fencing. Yeah. And figure skating. I like I used to like to watch figure skating. I took lessons for figure skating as a kid. And never been ice skating. The first ankle injury is what screwed that up for me. Um there's there's an anime there's there's an anime about figure skating now, and it was so good. It was so short, but it was so good. Yes, we got. It. Now they have they have one. Is it out or is it coming out? The one about ballroom dancing. It's about to finish air. I have to watch that. Come on, let's get this yeah. yes. That is it's so CG. creepy looking. Yeesh. Overkill much. Before Mikri Forest falls, let me just do some fighting in here to activate Mir's next talk topic about her next costume. Costume number seven. Jack Lee, I want to talk about one of your outfits. <laughs> you mean Miros? Yeah, that. Oh, you don't need to... <laughs> change! <laughs> Didn't need to do that! Too late. Go, 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 go change! You can't be wearing that here! Oh, why? What's wrong with this? <sighs> I wanted to tell you to get a jacket since you're like half naked in it. Why? Bottom is already covered in my hat. Here? My, my here? hair covers the top. <laughs> my hair covers the top. The wind could blow away your hair. No problem, I'm used to it. I'm not embarrassed to show my body. You're embarrassing me! Does it bother you? I could show you more if you like. Are you teasing me? You're asking for it. You need to stop acting like a child over a naked body. But this is Japan. I know! You can't do that anymore. Alright, one more. Where are we gonna get it? Uh... We haven't had shopkeeper events with Sasha or Skycat yet. Sasha's not ready. But Skycat is ready to proceed. Master! Master! I found another recipe inside the shop's storage room! That we probably can't make. <laughs> Another recipe that's not food. <coughs> but this one looks like it'll be really useful. 
I think it's a recipe for a device that warms up food and drinks instantly. A microwave? Sure. <laughs> With this, you can eat warm food even when you're camping outside. Well, that'd be nice. Having a warm drink makes a big difference. Yeah, that, this might make camping more fun. Then try making it now. Here, the recipe. D-Wave Cooker. Nice. D-Wave Cooker. <laughs> what are you doing? What? I said, no, phone, what are you doing? Yeah. You can warm up anything? The manual I found with it said, do not use on eggs and animals. <laughs> Don't stick your cat in the microwave. <laughs> if you do, do it. Whoa, serious? What? What'll happen? No, 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 <laughs> no, nothing. You see, um, if it directly touches an animal, a bad light will emit. So even if you make it, don't ever do that. Promise me, master. All of a sudden, I'm scared to make it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, this uses the uh, uh, sweet circuit that we made last time. Nice. Put that to use. And more of that first cell thing. Feels weird to be fixing machines at a restaurant. Really? But restaurants need to fix machines pretty often. We have to check on the appliances every so often to check that they work. Must be tough to be working at a restaurant. But didn't you have to do it when you worked here before? I wasn't even allowed to walk into the kitchen. <laughs> That's why you were fired. And I came in to replace you, even though I was bad at everything too. If you think about it, this restaurant has bad luck with waitresses. I think you of all people shouldn't say that. It's done! It looks delicious! Delicious? It, it's a machine! <laughs> it's done! The bipolar DDW heater complete! Why is it bipolar? Does it just decide not to work for you? <laughs> with, this, I can eat, with this, I can eat up food whenever, wherever I am! Yes, that's right! You place your food in here and turn on the switch. Outside, it should warm up in a few minutes at most. Hey, I'm so happy there's something to look forward to in our next camp. But we can't warm up living things inside it, though, right? Don't ever do that. If you do, they'll ex <laughs> What? <coughs> Direct contact with the light is harmful to your body, so never do so. If you can't promise me, I can't give this to you. I promise! I'll only warm up food and laundry in it. Laundry. <laughs> You're, such a, You're such a good, honest girl. Then go on and use it correctly. Scary. <laughs> Just food and laundry. Japan, why? Baby shoes. Japan, why? <laughs> Shit, my cheat didn't work. Cheat? We what lost you? the sweet circuit. Aww. I'll make another one. Bipolar DDW heater. A high-tech microwave oven. You can place food inside and turn on the switch to heat up anything in minutes. All right, please. Except for animals. Please work this time. There we go. Yay. All right, Jackie, what are you going to get out of this? I have a feeling whatever she makes, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Jackie doesn't do machines. I'm supposed to make a tool that warms things up, right? Oh god. <laughs> That's one of the results possible. Yes. Depending on the person who makes it, it can change it in one more one more way. Oh, I see. Huh? Now that I look at it, this recipe... What is it? I know what it's going to be. Something that requires a fish, apparently. Oh! Bipolar incubator. Duh. Why is... <laughs> Why, Why is everything is... bipolar? It's a manic depressive... <laughs> you know what this is? Yes, of course I do. This is used to incubate organic materials. Well, I guess that might be what it is. But there's one flaw about this item. You can't use it with living organisms. And this one's bipolar, but there's a version that's tripolar. Oh, dear God. What the fuck is tripolar? <laughs> it has three. What happens with the tripolar one? They say the tripolar incubator can give birth to life. Oh my God. <laughs> I see. You know your stuff! <laughs> I haven't lived centuries for nothing. What? 
Stop it with the strange comments. <laughs> Oh my God. Bipolar incubator. <laughs> a high-tech pot used to culture organic materials. The tripolar versions can even create so you're life. You're telling me there's a coffee pot out there somewhere that can create life. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Hold on for just a second, okay, Master? Zoom. Zoom. She, she's fast. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's getting used to this busyness. Maybe we have speed hack on. <laughs> Kinda amazing. I'm sorry I'm always making you wait lately. I don't mind that, but are you sure you're okay? It must be tough dealing with that many people all by yourself. What's the matter, Munchkin? I'm getting the hang of handling it lately, so it's fine now. You're skilled. Yeah, I know. But I think the fatigue might be getting to me. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Come here. I have trouble waking up in the morning recently. Obviously, it's the fatigue. I know! Master, when you come back to your therapy job, maybe I'll have you do me too. I'll check a while. Have you ever done a therapy session with Luca before? Uh, dive therapy is when a uh, specialized raven tail goes into your head and okay. fixes your problems. Gotcha. <laughs> now that you mention, I don't think you've ever. I was healed by Master's presence alone. Great to hear. <laughs> <laughs> just, but just, but just watching you isn't enough lately. I actually feel like my mind is pretty tired. Is tired pretty often now too. I see. But seeing that, of course you'd be tired. Then when I get back to work, I'll do therapy for you first. Really? Yep. I'll make sure to give you lots of surface. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you, Master. <laughs> I mean, you're always taking care of us, too. It's like a reward. Oh, you didn't have to worry about that. No, really, I want to make sure to thank you. Uh-oh. The seeds of conflict. Cloche doesn't approve of it because some Ravitales use dive therapy for recreational needs. Luke, Luca doesn't do dirty stuff, though. Or kinky stuff, they called it. Nice. <laughs> Souffle axis? Yeah. This game is amazing. For some reason, <laughs> it's just a normal railway. <laughs> but Sasha is ready. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Hello, Sister Cloud. Sasha, are you sure you're okay? You're acting a little strange lately. Um, um. <laughs> oh god. I think I'm a little tired, maybe. If it's what I think it is, I'm gonna be crying again. <laughs> it's been so busy lately, so just a little. Why don't you get some rest? You're such a hard worker, so you'll get tired, too. Get a little rest, and you'll have enough energy to work hard again. Thank you, sister. Hearing you say that to me made me feel okay now. Are you sure? You still don't seem very happy. I can do my best. Because I have to be a strong child. A strong child who can protect Grandma Shaw. So I will work hard. <laughs> These games are going to break me. How many times did I cry during our new surge? Like seven? Too, too <coughs> many. When we played Final Fantasy X for the first time, it was like a yep. we were at we were eating dinner and I was I literally started crying over dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't yeah. stop. I yeah. had to like excuse myself. <laughs> when we played when we played Tales of the Abyss for the first time and Oh, I shouldn't say this because we're going to be playing this again. Mm -hmm. A certain character died. Oh, jeez. I completely- That was the first time I ever cried on the stream. I completely lost my shit. There was a Star Ocean character that died that wrecked me pretty good. I think he came back Star Ocean 3 or Star Ocean 4. Um, if it's a character that died in Star Ocean, I'm thinking 3. I don't know, I don't know if he actually died, I think it just made it maybe 
look that way and he might have come back. I don't quite remember. It's been a long time since I played the game. Anyway, I could look at him if I wanted to. You just played this recently. <laughs> I don't remember this. He was a dude and he had a plane or something. I think he was an elf. Um, oh! 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 Um. What's his face in four? Crow. Crow. That sounds familiar. Yes. Red hair. Oh, phase. Phase. Green yes. Hair. Yes. 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 Phase. 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 Yes. I, oh my God. The name is bringing back I, memories. I cried over that too. It I liked. Me. I liked phase. Yeah, I did too. But he did come back. He did come I back. I didn't like the 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 birdwing girl. The little one. The, the the one that the cat chick was constantly wanting to eat. Sarah. 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 I, I like hated. Her. Yeah, you. I was gonna say you liked Sarah. Sarah. Her voice I was acting was atrocious. Relatively in, indifferent like, to her. I knew that they were tr they were trying to be bad on purpose, but they were bad at being bad on purpose. <laughs> Kit Kat level two. Kit Kat. She's not going to put up much of a fight. <laughs> Boop. There he is. Phase Shifa Belef. Yes, he was one of my favorite characters. I like this word, tritagonist. I've never seen that before. Oh, it's one step up from deuteragonist. And I've two never heard of that one before either. Two steps up from protagonist. <laughs> Whoa, antagonist. 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 Um, but yeah, when we played Arno Surge, I... Neneko, level three. There's, there's this whole thing about... Ion, where she's talking about how how can she trust Earthus's words? He's just the voice, this voice from the other side of the screen. How can she believe that he really loves her? Mm -hmm. And it really hit home, you know. Sometimes they do. I mean, specific, especially because of how we met. Yeah. And that entire scene, I broke down, and I was sobbing through all of the lines. There's a commercial on TV that makes me cry literally every time right now, and it's the one I don't know if you watch TV or if you get this commercial, but there's a golden retriever. Yes. When they put the lion manes on yes. that one every single I see time that on it makes YouTube me all sob. The time. I'm like, oh my god, it's all so right. beautiful. The conductor activator. Are there new monsters here? Are there new items to get? Oh, no, these uh, these look the same as what we were fighting last time. The flow gene is where we got the first no. Uh -oh. I have I have this penchant for identifying. Oh yeah, with a lot of characters. Sign of Hyam. Yukiho, I cried, and was it Hanukkah that I cried? Yes, over her lack of faith. In I I didn't think I would identify with Hanukkah as much as I did. But I found something in all of the characters from Idol Master that I identified with. There's a song that Yukiho sings at the end of her <coughs> out that he wrote the English version for, and he wanted me to sing it live, and I was like, I don't know how you expect me to be able to get through this song without <laughs> crying. I cried! That was a while ago, wasn't it? I think I remember that. Um, Yukiho was... A couple months ago, we we redid, we've already done all of the Idol Master stuff. Okay. His original YouTube channel got hit for copyright and got taken down. No shit. I didn't know that. All I'm the never on YouTube anymore. They changed too much shit. I don't like all it the anymore. music from the games. Oh, so what we ended up doing was we've been live streaming just the story conversations and voice acting those. Yeah. You know, taking out all the the gameplay and the music yeah. just to be safe. Um. Which is fine, because that's, I mean, the main thing we do on the channel. Were you able to get the channel back put that up? No. Oh my god. I uh, gave up on it because, honestly, that channel accomplished what I set out, what I created it for in the first place Which already. Which was this? Which was this. Ah, okay! <laughs> <laughs> and then we started the new channel with the group. It was maybe six months into having the new channel. We had started Platinum Stars when it happened. And at that point we were like, okay, we'll figure out how we're going to handle this. And we eventually just decided that we were going to do a complete HD vo voicing of the entire series. Yeah. I've been looking nice. for, a, for an excuse to remaster my old scripts from when I was terrible at translating and writing. So, uh, 
Can we do everything over here? We only have Ami left for Idol Master 2. And then we're gonna go back and do some stuff in Platinum Stars. Won't move. Maybe there's a switch to activate it somewhere. And then, and then after that, it's a secret. After that, yeah, after that, it's a secret. <coughs> nice. So. Which is fun. I've, I've been enjoying it. I wish we could get to a point where we could do something like that consistently, like a third stream every week, because then we can open our Twitch up for, like, subscriptions where people can, like, donate to us. But we just don't have the time. Manumbra exec will ca 5982 Sounds like a lift became usable to us. Oh yeah, and then there's the language in this game. That... Yeah, I was gonna ask about that. I can't read it, but there are translations and transcriptions online. Is it an actual, like, is yes. there a linguistic structure to it? It's a constructed language that the Japanese writers invented specifically for this game. Nice. I actually had to have him translate for me because I made our little thumbnail that we use on our videos, and that actually is the closest thing you'll get to Let's voice act. Nice, nice. Because all of our all of our thumbnails have let's voice act on them somewhere. Is it a phonetic language? It's um Kulere level three. I don't it I don't think it is. It's okay. a it's a letter based language, okay. not a sound based one. Not like Japanese. Yeah. I can think of more characters I've cried over than I haven't cried yeah. over. <laughs> I cry a lot when we play yeah. these games. They speak. I've already warned him I'm going to be crying in Persona 3 when mm. we get that far. There's a cat. I don't know if you remember Akinabi, the son, the, the, sick, the sickly guy at the shrine. This is another one where Shun has to get on it for it to react. What is it? A K I N A R I. Looks like looks like it. I guess we're stuck here for a while. Yeah. Oh, no. Hello. Sorry I'm late. Oh, I'm sorry. The authentication here only responds oh, to Verlia. No. Go on. He is dying. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Roxas is currently voicing him. Okay. And I lost my best friend when I was 13. And my current best friend is voicing him. Oh, yeah. That's gotta be that. Okay. Butt wings. Butt wings! <laughs> now we should be able to use the elevator that goes up from here. Normally, only Threlia is allowed to go beyond this point. It's a place that is essentially the center of this world. Don't get too reckless in there. Especially you, Jackley. Shut up, butt wings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, when we get to that point, she and I are both going to cry. Yeah. Third of it, I don't it, It's just going to be very... I understand. She reminds me so much of my friend that died. That I know. I, I'm constantly comparing the two. Like, you, she does things that Mom, remind blah, me. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> constantly say that she saved my life. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't her access. The day that I met her, I had been planning to come home and commit suicide. It's a good thing you didn't. Alright then, Luca. I leave it to you. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to do a thing. You're supposed to sing <laughs> Vina, was it? Vina, yeah. Alright, turn I off. I thought it was Jack Lee. We downloaded Despedia into Jack Lee. Right. Uh, turn off the air for a second so we can hear the hymn. Look out! It's just for while the hymn is playing. I know. Okay, I can do it. Luca. Mm, do your best. Okay! <laughs> Lady Fralia? Hmm? How did you feel when you created this world? Um, it was fun. 
But it was lonely. Lonely? Because I had to continue singing alone high in the sky. I see. That must be lonely. But you won't be lonely this time. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. And this time, I'm sure. We'll be able <coughs> to create a world where you won't be lonely. Mm -hmm. And then I'm done. S then when I'm done singing this, I'll give you back D cellophane. D cellophane. You'd better not, Luca. Mm -hmm. That that's what makes you who you are too. Yeah, it originally belonged to you. We just used it to be able to use your powers. That's all. That's why you've become so tired. But don't worry. From now on, we're going to live on our own. Thank you. Thank you until now. And please watch over us from now on, too. <laughs> Doesn't work like that, Luca. <laughs> Something bad about to happen. I can hear the song. I wonder if it'll work for me. Of course it will. It has to turn out wonderful. Luca, darling, do your best. <laughs> Luca. Master. The best. You okay? On my foot. Born okay? <laughs> yeah. Alright. This thing's taking a beating. <coughs> and if it breaks, I can blame Ikoku because he never got me a case. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gail. <laughs> the Tower to the Heavens is finally done. This tower couldn't have been made with just our powers. The thoughts of everyone in this world made this tower a reality. Yeah, you're right. The Warden of Mint. I'm really glad I got to give it to the mayor before the fall. Yes, truly. We're all creating Metaphalica. Now there is no time to lag behind. The entrance to the Heaven's Tower is on the hills of Metaphalica. Alright. Let's all go to the hills of Metaphalica. I want to look up Frelia's voice actors. Cause that sounded like Wendy Lee. Sounded like who? Wendy Lee. Wendy is Jack Lee. Is she really? Why did Frelia sound so familiar? Uh oh. Did it freeze? Uh no. You broke it again! <laughs> oh! Oh, it crashed hard. Yay. Well, we're only back here, so... <laughs> try the scene again and see if it goes it, any better. Behind the voice actors, you have failed me. 
doesn't say who her Japanese or her who her English voice actress is. So this is a tower they are building. Yes. Um, my ignorance. The tower to the heavens was always there. It was just being... It, it just wasn't showing up because Frelia didn't have enough power in her body to manifest gotcha. it. So that's why we're deleting part of the land around the tower so she doesn't have as much to hold up. Interesting. Okay. No, we can't get past this one scene. Oh boy. Bad emulator? Might be my cheats again. Uh oh. But I thought those were all supposed to be deactivated unless I press the button. I cannot find who her English voice actress is. I can find who her Japanese voice actress is, but that doesn't help me. Doesn't help the cause. You know who she sounds like? Fuka. That's, um, Karen St No, not Karen Strassman. Um. Oh god, I can't remember who voices Fuka. No! I know, that's, that's terrible that I can't remember that. This is a problem. Well, we're probably going to have to stop here for the night. Oh boy. And I will have to fix the problem. Make, make up our progress and try to get past this point for next time. Alright, guys, I guess that's it for tonight. <laughs> Kayla, yes. Down. Ooh. Ooh, sketchy <laughs> girl. Down. <laughs> we will be back tomorrow night with more <clears throat> Persona 3. I'm gonna be home watching football. <laughs> but I wish you all well. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>